Corpo State Media slanders American defend American defending them. Well, an American defending himself, or uh, Americans defending themselves from armed BLM rioters. Rioters, and I'm going to call this video. I'm going to call this video. Pull a gun on BLM protesters wielding guns, and the Corpo State will hate you. Black Lives Matter armed resistance demonstrators. Brianna Taylor, Churchill Downs Restaurant. That's the whole key phrase that we're going for. Uh, don't defend yourself from BLM. That's that's the bottom line. And and I said in an earlier video where I offered the caveat uh, to, to all those Americans out there, specifically black Americans out there that are part of the BLM movement, I have I, I understand well somewhat. I can never I can't fully understand, obviously, but I understand to some degree why this is an appeal for you. I understand why you're marching. I understand even why you're burning police cars and setting businesses on fire. This doesn't mean that I'm going to say that it's justified. It's not justified what you're doing. And you are being manipulated by white, <coughs> predominantly white billionaires to, to work against your own interest. I will offer that to you. Uh, but I do want to make it clear that I have a lot of empathy and a lot of understanding, you know, such as I can, for, for the human beings that happen to be black that find themselves in support of BLM. So I want to offer that caveat before I go forward. Black Lives Matter. Armed protesters faced down by armed American. Independent UK wants you to believe an American citizen who used a gun to fend off a potential assault from armed rioters is the bad guy in their upside down world where good is evil and evil is good. Rioters marching through Churchill Downs raided businesses armed to the teeth, brandishing weapons and lobbing hateful epithets at customers. One American citizen had enough and showed his gun to encourage them to leave the restaurant and quit, the, quit their assault on peaceful Americans. They were marching in protest of the Brianna Taylor killing, and that is, uh, I, 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 I'm going to say for me, based on what I know and getting true facts and true information from anybody is awfully difficult. So I understand that some of you might not agree with this, but I do believe that that was an unjustified killing. And so I believe their march is it, just the protest march in and of itself is, is justified. Going into businesses, intimidating human beings with uh, guns, that's uh, another matter altogether. And anybody that's doing that, if you're whatever your whatever your cause is, whether it's a conservative or or a Black Lives Matter cause, whatever it might be. If you're if you're going around guns marching down the middle of the street, I got no problem with that. But if you're if you're taking your guns, your open carry guns, brandishing your open carry guns, and you're going into places of business, that is meant to intimidate. That is meant to terrorize. And that there's no justification for that. So they were marching in protest of the Breonna Taylor killing, which in this writer's opinion, well, there I say it was an unjustified killing, one that deserves a protest and accountability. But nevertheless, it doesn't give you a right to raid biz businesses brandishing weapons in menacing ways. That This is America, not the Weimar Republic. Though, clearly, the BLM, and by the BLM I mean the leadership, not the rank and file, well, I'll say rank and file black folks. White folks, that's another matter. I think a lot of white folks that support the BLM are really dialectical white supremacists. So I, I, I don't have nearly as much understanding and empathy for the for what the white Americans represent that support the BLM. Uh, but anyway, though, clearly the BLM would love America to be just that, to usher in Lord knows what, to replace the American Republic. And it's one true king, the Bill of Rights. And for that's for believer and non-believer, that's our one true king that we can all share together for the Christian. Uh, Christ is king. And the Bill of Rights is fully aligned with, with Christ, fully enmeshed, fully and folded within Christ. And for that matter, the Bill of Rights is fully enmeshed within many other belief systems, including not all beliefs, like not all versions of Christianity are plumb with the Bill of Rights. Not all versions of Islam are plumb with the Bill of Rights. And this is from the independent, not you, well, independent UK. I, I, I guess I made that clear when I wrote. Dinner, diner brandishes, this is the title, Diner brandishes gun at BLM protesters during demonstration over police killing of Breonna Taylor. This is a hateful, hateful, this is, this is a foreign power that is reaching into the American audience and is seeking to undermine American stability, seeking to stir up more hate and more division, more chaos, more terrorism. Whoever wrote this article, shame on you for that title. Now, read, write, read the article itself. It's not quite as bad as, as the headline, but that's, a, that's an old trick, too. What you do is you know most human beings are just going to read the headline, and that's where your propaganda is taking place right there. 
The propaganda takes place mostly in the headlines. Even if you write something reasonable afterwards, your intent is, is delivered in your headline. Now, I don't know. In some places, the writer doesn't necessarily write the headline. So I don't know if the writer chose this headline or not. But this headline is evil, violent, and disgusting. And this is uh, uh, Marusha Mufatsar who wrote this. And again, I don't know if Marusha, if you wrote this headline, shame on you, repent of your sins. The demonstrators were marching to Churchill Downs on Saturday to demand justice for Breonna Taylor, who was shot dead by local police in a botched up drug raid last year. And I, I kind of, that's how I kind of see it. And yeah. Well, anyway, the diner was eating at upscale French. And you had to add this. See this upscale thing? This is, this is meant to, to point this in a certain way, which is basically... Well, you know, they're well off. So, you know, we can we can look at them as being subhuman if they're well off. And, you know, in, in scriptural standards, you know, we're not to have uneven scales. We're not to have uneven justice. That means that we don't we don't show partiality to any group. That means we don't show partiality to the poor any more than we do the rich. This is showing partiality to the poor. This is this is this is godlessness. The, the, the diner was eating at upscale French restaurant La Chase when he confronted at least 50 BLM protesters and pulled out a gun. Alicia Smith, the local police spokesman, told the media that multiple armed protesters entered a restaurant property, which included outdoor dining space. The footage ca captured by a local reporter of the gun-wielding diner soon went viral on social media, and I'm sure now this diner is being faced with the potential of being canceled, and corporations will will march lockstep with the Weimar Republic-like uh, mentality of the people behind such hateful actions. So, And I didn't see the video itself, and it's not really... Well, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet. I didn't see the video, so I could be wrong. But I, I'm willing to bet that most of these people were most likely white people. Because it's mostly white people who are the most aggressive who are the most hateful uh, of, of the BLM rank and file. And that's because, in my eyes, white Americans that are supporting the BLM, they know what they're doing. They know that they're co-opting a just cause and turning it into hate so that the very people that they allege to be protecting are becoming the, 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 the well, they're stigmatizing them. They're perpetuating racism. And it's because they're racist themselves, because they're dialectical white supremacists. I'll end up with that.